Rightio guys, well here she is, the new toy. Um, yeah, this has been a long overdue to be honest. Um, needing to upgrade the sprayer, I'd say that our spraying technology was probably in the 90s still, so. But in saying that, it still did the job and it didn't owe us anything, but. This here, yep, we did the deal on this um, probably uh, back in September or October last year, I reckon, but it was still on the, uh, it was through a dealership and it was still on the on the bloke's farm um, and he still needed to finish off a couple of jobs with it, so then we got into um, harvest and all that sort of thing and it sort of went on the back burner and to be honest, uh, yeah, we, we are desperate for it at the moment because we need to get summer spraying done and we've probably let things go a little bit too far, but anyway, it's here now, so... I suppose I should talk about this thing a little bit, but yeah, um, Miller Nitro 5240. Um, it's only really a baby of the self-propelled uh, sprayer world. Uh, you know, we only do a couple of thousand acres of cropping. We really don't need something that big. Um, we've still got the 100 foot boom out the front and a 4,500 litre tank, which a lot of blokes would say that's probably too small now because, you know, they want 6,000 plus litre tanks. So. Yeah, look, it's a used machine. It's not perfect. There's a few things on it that aren't great, but this guard over the side here has obviously had a bit of chemical dripping down on it off the boom, and it, that looks a bit average. Um, around the other side, it's obviously had a bit of a hit on this guard up here. That lights down a bit, but you know, it's a used machine and that you expect little things like that. It's just little projects for me to do and look into and fix and things like that. So let's go up into the cab and have a look. So here it is, this is the view from the cab and look, it's a catch 22 having the boom out the front. It's fantastic because you can see it and, and we do like that um, when it's behind you and you can't see these nozzles, you know, down here. Um, you, you can't tell if you've got a blockage or something like that if it's behind you unless I guess you can put a camera or something back there But look, that's the good part about it. The bad part about it is that it's at the front and you're obviously going to get a bit of like chemical drift back uh, You know over the machine. So that's probably the negative of it. But uh, Look, we're not going to know whether we like it until we uh, get out and use it. I suppose so so this, uh, I typically haven't done a lot of spraying at all. Dad's always been the one running the old spray rig. So this is going to be a steep learning curve for me. Um, yeah, I, I'm a little bit nervous about it, a bit anxious to get it all figured out. This is going to be, uh, this is the Trimble FM1000 screen. This does all the auto steering and control of the sprayer. So that's probably, look, it's one thing filling it up with spray, like with chemical and water and all that, you know. That's just taps and pipes, but getting your head around this thing here is probably going to be the hard part. So, yeah, we'll just have to have a play with it, and I'm sure we'll get used to it. It's all just a time in the seat sort of thing. So, we run like we run Topcon and everything else. So, it's amazing how different these systems can be, sort of thing. So, yeah, I don't know. It's not a bad rig, pretty good condition, about 2,000 hours on it. But she's going to be good for us, so best we just uh, get busy and get learning and get into it because we got some we got some acres to cover at the moment. We got some serious summer weed problems. So. Rightio guys, thought I'd better go grab my camera. Uh, we've been out, we've done a couple of tank falls of um, chemical in the new sprayer. Yeah, look, we, had a <laughs> we haven't had a smooth run since it got here and once I get out of spraying, I'll talk a little bit about that. But for now, we're gonna go fill up, uh, get going, weather's good. We are way behind on spraying summer weeds. Like it's, it's gotten out of control while we were waiting for this thing to get here. So we're gonna go get into it. Hopefully my camera doesn't give me any grief today. Um, I know in my last video the microphone jack was giving me a bit of trouble with the audio. So I've got a new one on order, but ever since I dropped it off of the header a few weeks ago, the audio just hasn't been the same. So, Thank you. 
Rightio, I need to enter some paddock data in here because this is a new system to us and none of our paddocks are in here. I'm sure there's a way of transferring our paddocks over from our other system onto here, but to be honest, we don't have time. We just got to get spraying at the moment. So I'll just have to map the paddock out. It's a little bit slower than I'd like it to be, but um, you know, that's uh, the way it rolls. We just got to get moving here. So need new V10 West. Okay, all right, let's do some mapping. Well, it has been a steep learning curve learning how to use this Trimble screen, but I think I'm finally getting my head around it. We're up and running, paddock's mapped. I thought I'd just touch on uh, how things have gone with this since we got it. and. To be honest, it's been absolutely terrible since we've got it. Um, we've just had no end of problem. Uh, the thing got here and we had a we had a rep come out from one of the dealers for Trimble, for the Trimble system. We needed to get it unlocked um, so the steering and everything like that would work for us. I've just got to turn around here, hang on. So yes, he, he came out, he looked at the screen and he went to go get some numbers off of it so he could unlock it and I said um, to him while he was there, I don't think the dealership that we bought it from cleared all the old customers data out of the screen so all of his paddocks and everything like that was still in the screen and I said how do I delete that um, and he sort of showed me but then he just went on to do it and he deleted um, all, all the old paddock data all the old client data all that sort of thing and I thought cool that's good that saves me a job and the next day I hopped in the screen in, in the sprayer um, and I turned the screen on and I went in and I tried to get to the mapping screen and everything and it said that the field IQ, which is basically the brains of the of the unit, it controls all the sprayer, it has all the geometry for the sprayer, like the measurements, the section control, all of that was gone. Gone into thin air. Um, so I don't know whether the guy from the dealership accidentally deleted something that he shouldn't have, but then we had to go through and set the whole screen up again and man, I was I was a little annoyed. Let's be honest, I gotta turn around again. Sorry, I've got some short runs here. And I just pressed the steering button and it did not engage. Engage. Where was I? Yes, the only the only joy you get in buying a used machine with 2,000 hours on it, with the steering system all already in it, is that you don't have to do anything to set it up. It's already there. Well, that joy just got robbed from us, to be honest. <laughs> but what are you going to do? It, uh, we're on top of it now. We're getting the, the spraying done. So all is not lost. And uh, let's face it, I, I know a lot more about this system than I would have known otherwise. So, uh. that is another paddock done and dusted I've got uh, what have I got probably got about a thousand liters left um, that I need to get rid of still but fortunately we've still got plenty of paddocks to spray um, the summer spraying really has got away from us I might even jump out in a minute here and show you guys um, kicking ourselves a little bit now we should have been into it but we were uh, busy waiting for a sprayer to get here so so you see this lovely looking plant here? This is potato weed. And there is no shortage of it out here whatsoever. I mean, this is like, this is an outright stuff up really. Letting this stuff get to this stage. Um, yeah, we're gonna be paying the price for this. I don't know what we're gonna do. Because when we come seeding, uh, this stuff is gonna cause us big problems. Big problems. 
It's just going to get wrapped up around the tines. It's going to drag dirt. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty. Anyway, we're killing them now. So let's get it done. Map another paddock and get into it. Well, I'd imagine I'm almost empty. 1.9 hectares to go until I'm empty, so that might be about all she wrote for the day, I reckon. Well, I wasn't far wrong. I got to the end of that pass and uh, the pump started whining and the liquid stopped coming out the nozzle, so I was out, bone dry. Um, not sure if I'll do much more today, to be honest, guys. I, I have to be somewhere a bit later on today. It is Saturday, so... Uh, yeah, we'll head back, and I don't even know what the time is. I haven't had any lunch or anything like that either, so... I'm starting to get a little peckish. Well, it is 2.30. 2.30, I haven't eaten yet. Um, I don't know, I'll let this thing cool down a bit, shut it down. I'm going to go have some lunch, and then... Might chill out for, uh, might grab a little bit of downtime for an hour or two, then I gotta head over to Laura, a town which is about 40 k's away, so. Thanks for joining me, thanks for, hope you've enjoyed checking out the new sprayer. This is like a massive, massive step up from what we um, had uh, in the past, so it's been a steep learning curve and it's, it's uh, yeah, there's been a few speed bumps along the way, it's been a bit of a saga, but we're starting to get all that behind us now, which is good, but uh, thanks again. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Cheers. My goodness, spraying is quicker now.